So this is a circular motion problem and what you've got to find out is the maximum speed the car can go over the bridge and still stay in contact with the road. You're giving them the mass of the car is 1000 kilograms and the radius of curvature of the bridge is 20 meters. So we're, we're assuming that the car is in constant uh, circular motion as it goes over the bridge. So because of that there must be a centripetal force directed towards the center of the uh, curvature that's the resultant force that acts towards the center of that circle. So the first thing you do is you draw on the two forces. So there's the weight of the car acting downwards, mg. And you also put on the normal reaction from the surface of the road acting upwards, n. Now, <coughs> mv squared over r is just the resultant force towards the center of the circle. So in this context here, it's mg minus n. And when the car is no longer in contact with the bridge, it's the condition when n becomes zero. There's no normal reaction from the surface of the road on the car. So now my equation becomes mv squared over r equals mg. And you'll find it's quite interesting. It, the mass of the car is irrelevant. It doesn't matter what mass the car is. So rearranging still further, I get that v squared equals rg. And then finally, V equals the square root of R times G. And putting the numbers into the equation, I get it's 20 meters times 9.81, the square root of that. The final answer being 14 meters per second.